Stepney the Bluebell engine was settling in on the Fat Controller's railway. All throughout the night, the other engines had talked and asked questions about his railway far away, and he was fond of them. They were fond of him too. Amazing, said Gordon, to think such a small tank engine travelled all this way just to see us. Oh, it was a wonderful journey, though the diesels on the other railway weren't nearly as welcoming as you. I'm sure you're a match for any diesel, piped in Percy. Aye, though all the same, you're lucky for escaping from scrap. Indeed, boomed the fat controller. Stepney is a very lucky engine, and we're lucky he's here to help out. James sat quietly nearby. He liked this new visitor too, but all the same he felt a little envious at how much attention he was getting. Now, there's a special goods train that needs to be taken to Edward's station. James, please, will you take it? But I don't like taking goods trains, sir. I'd much rather be doing more important work. Very well. Then I'll entrust you to do the most important work of all. Shunting in the yard to ensure all the trains are ready. Now, the railway is very busy. Do I have another volunteer? Please, sir, I'd like to get to know the line. May I take it? If you're sure you feel rested enough after your long journey, then very well. Trevor will be there to help you when you arrive. Stepney barked away to the yards, whilst James sulked behind. His mood wasn't much better when he arrived. Something for a tank engine? It's disgusting! Watch out, James! Oh, just typical! Never mind, James. I'm sure that'll wash off when it rains. Easy for him to say. He didn't get one speck of dust on him. Some engines get all the luck. Whether it was bad luck or his impatience, James continued to make a mess as he grumpily bumped the trucks around the yard. One was covered in a tarpaulin and had signs warning engines to be careful. James didn't notice this until it was too late. Whoops! Some workers soon had the load back on the truck, but James thought it best not to tell Stebney what had happened. Thank you for arranging my trucks, James. An engine that can shunt trucks quickly and pull fast trains is twice as useful. Peep, peep, goodbye. James began to feel guilty and crept away to find more trucks. Stepney was none the wiser and had a smooth journey whistling to engines as they passed until he reached Edward's station. Trevor, the traction engine, was happy to see him, but his mood soon changed when he saw the truck. Under the tarpaulin was a wooden model of James decorated with flowers, but nobody knew it had been damaged. Oh dear, this was supposed to be my special float for the market parade. It was a gift from the Fat Controller for me to take around the village, but we haven't time to repair it now. I'm so sorry, said Stepney. I must have broken it on the way. If only there was some way we could... Stepney looked at the flowers. I know, he said excitedly. Why don't you take me with you instead? I'm small enough to fit on that trailer. Brilliant. I'm sure the villagers would much rather see your happy face than poor James here. There was no time to lose. Soon Stepney was loaded onto Trevor's trailer and his driver and fireman helped Jem Cole decorate him with flowers from buffer to buffer. Then they set off to join the parade. They had a wonderful time. The villagers were surprised to see them and waved and cheered as Trevor chuntered down the streets. This is great fun. I've heard people call me the Bluebell Engine, but I don't think this is what they meant. James had finished shunting and was now taking his passenger train when he saw a flash of yellow and green up ahead. Hello James, whistled Stepney. Life on the road is fun, but I think I'd rather be on the rails again like you. James was speechless. 
He thought Stepney might have got in trouble for the damaged cargo, but here he was being paraded around the town instead. He had to admit though, Stepney may have been a lucky engine, but it was his smile that made sure he had a good day. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to one of the greatest recordings you may ever hear with probably the most amount of bloopers you've ever heard in one take so bracing myself for that um, here we go let's see if we can do this I'm gonna dive right in it was a warm-up it's fine he liked his new visitor his new visitor the his mood has <laughs> quite a bit fat control there and his driver and fireman Da, 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 da. Never mind, James. I'm sure that'll wash off when the re <laughs> when it. <laughs> yep, that's correct. James had finished chanting. What am I? He was covered in a tarpaulin and had signs of warning. I just I did not read that correctly. I'm so sorry. How dare people get home shopping on a Sunday? It's the Lord's Day. A very merry thank you to all of my brilliant patrons. Alex Goodman, GBH Train, D0280 Falcon, Sean Tempest, Nat, Alco, TR2000, Random Thomas Fan, Peter Davenport, and Ego. Happy New Year!